staggering. In 2015, 2 million Americans, some as young as 12, addicted to prescription pain relievers. UNM Hospital is hoping to combat the opioid crisis by changing how New Mexicans manage their pain. Action 7 News reporter Megan Cruz takes you inside this unique clinic in tonight's state of addiction. I can't wait to see how this neck is doing. Tender all through here. Mm -hmm. Cindy Young's has been suffering most of her life. I have a very long history of severe migraine. Desperate to find relief, she tried everything. I had tried oriental medicine. I had tried acupuncture, acupressure. And of course, opioid pain relievers. It dulls for at the time being but doesn't solve the problem. Oh, Cindy, George Mercy. Family and friends finally suggested UNM's pain center. They've just been absolutely great. Now this place is unique. It's the only clinic in our state that takes a comprehensive approach to pain management, meaning doctors work together to figure out how to make you feel better. Their philosophy is to not use opioids not first. Dr. Ernie Dole is one of the clinic's pharmacists. So a lot of my work is de-prescribing in trying to have patients take the emphasis off the medicines, more on to other things that have a more long-lasting effect. So this is how it works. If you suffer from chronic pain, you'll likely be referred to the pain center. The first person you'll see is a physician. My job is pretty much being a detective, trying to figure out what's causing the pain. You'll then be referred to other pain specialists in the clinic, whether it's a counselor. We often forget the mind-body connection. A physical therapist. Quickly evaluate the shoulder. Maybe you need a neurologist or dry needling. I feel a little prick. And the muscles are relaxing. Yeah. yeah. All these options explored first before doctors consider medications. And even then, we don't use opioids first. We use non opioid medications. Young's appreciates how the pain center doesn't just rely on prescription pain pills and hopes other hospitals follow suit. She says she hasn't felt this good in a long time. Megan Cruz, KOET Action 7 News. You could see more stories.